In this video, I'll be covering the different ways you can use filters to find the exact items you're looking for in the library browser. Now, in order to follow along with this video, you'll need to ensure a couple of things. First, make sure your library browser is turned on. The default location for the library browser window is docked to the right-hand side of the Home Designer window. If you do not see a library browser on the right-hand side of your window, you can go to the View menu and click on Library Browser. You can also click on the Library Browser button on the top toolbar next to the Preferences icon. Secondly, we'll be using the Filter search bar throughout this video. If you don't have it turned on, you can go to the cogwheel icon in the lower left corner of the Library Browser window and make sure there's a check mark next to the Filter option. And lastly, we're going to be searching for items in the library, and we'll want to include results from our online 3D library. To ensure we're including online results in our search, make sure the Include Web Results option is turned on. Ensure there is a check mark in that icon so web results will be included in our searches. We'll start by adding a dining room table to our plan. To do this, I can simply go to the filters bar at the top of the window and type in dining table and press enter on my keyboard. Home Designer will then search through all of the items in the library and will display any items that match the term dining table. Once I see the results, I can click on an item and I'll see a preview of that item in the preview panel. For example, if I select Shaker Pedestal Table, I'll see a 3D preview of that table. I'll go ahead and use this table and simply move my mouse into the plan to place it. Note, I don't click and drag when placing items from the library. I click on it once in the library browser to select it, then I move my mouse into the plan without holding my mouse button down, then click a second time to place it in my plan. Now that I've added a table to my plan, I want to add some chairs around the table. But I'm specifically looking for interior chairs. I can use the filters by item type in the library browser to help me find just interior chairs. To do this, in the filter box at the top, I'm going to type in Type Furnish. Notice when I do that, I have a list of filter options that appear below the filter box. I can search simply by the type text, or I can search by a type of item, either Furnishings Exterior or Furnishings Interior. I'll choose Furnishings Interior. And notice when I do that, I'm only seeing table results and nothing else. This is because Home Designer is still filtering by dining tables as well as furnishings interior. The reason this is happening is because Home Designer allows you to filter for multiple things at the same time. You can see a list of the currently active filters right below the filter box. If I want to get rid of one, for example, dining table, I can mouse over dining table and click on the red X that shows up next to it. Now I'm only filtering for interior furnishings, but I'd like to not have to search through all of the options that are interior furnishings. Instead, I'll add a filter for dining chair by typing dining chair into the filter box and hitting enter on my keyboard. This will add the dining chair filter to the furnishings interior filter. These results are a lot easier to manage. I'll select colonial side chair and then click in my plan to place one and click again to place a second one. Now that I have my chairs and tables in my plan, I'd like to apply a stain coat to them to see if I can get them to match more with the room. I'd like to get a stain that I know is commercially available so I know it's a stain that I'll be able to purchase. I'll use bare paint since they're available at the local hardware store in my area. To do this, I'll simply type in the name bare, and when I do that, I'll have a filter for manufacturer bare. I'll click on that to apply that filter. You'll see I'm only seeing the bare catalog, but you'll notice all of my results have a blue globe in the lower right corner. Whenever you see that globe, that tells you the catalog is a catalog available for download, but it hasn't been downloaded to your computer yet. I'll go ahead and right click on any one of the results I have, and I'll choose the option to download the catalog to my computer. If I have not logged into my Chief Architect account, I'll go ahead and input my email address and password to begin downloading the catalog. Once the catalog is downloaded, Home Designer will clear out the existing filters we created earlier. So in the search box, I'll again type in bare, then choose the manufacturer bare filter. But now I want to search for a specific color of material. I want to give these table and chairs a weathered look, so I'm going to do a search for gray. And just like we did earlier with the chairs, we can stack filters, so I'll simply type in gray and press enter on my keyboard, and Home Designer will add gray to the filter. Now I'm seeing gray colors in just the bare catalog. I'll pick the drift gray and then make sure the blend with texture option is selected. From there, I'll click on each chair and the table to blend that gray color with the wood grain texture. 
As you can see, there are many different ways to find objects in the library. Using different filters, you can find exactly what you need to bring your designs to life.